Recently I found a bunch of high school sketchbooks. There's a lot of gems in there. There's also <laughs> a lot of stuff that's really embarrassing. And I thought it'd be fun for a video series to do, uh, yeah, redraws of my old art. So that's what we're doing here today. And today I'm gonna try to redraw this, uh, which I don't even know where to start on this. Before we get too far into critiquing past Rob's drawing, I should say this. First, I'm not gonna be drawing from a reference other than looking at the old drawing. Second, I'm not going to be using any drawing tools that I wouldn't have had access to back in the day. So no iPads, no digital media touch-ups, no undo, etc. And third, I'm not really trying to make a realistic drawing. It's kind of a more like a, a battle of old style versus new style. And to give past Rob a fighting chance, just know this, I've drawn digitally for like 15 years and uh, my these days, modern day, current pencil and paper skills are rusty. Also, uh, I used to spend like all day on these old drawings and these days I'm gonna limit myself to 30 minutes per drawing. I speed up the recording four times so that the videos aren't too long to watch but it is kind of fun watching other people draw, so it still should be hopefully slow enough that you can enjoy the process. Anyway, so, past Rob, what were you thinking? It's not like this drawing itself really weirds me out. I mean, it is kind of a weird drawing, but uh, it's not too bad, relatively speaking. But it does leave me with some questions. Why the heck did I draw a mustached man standing in a field of wheat with a scythe? Why is he so scrawny? Why are his overalls so strange and not really how overalls look at all? Why is his hair so unkempt? And is that really how you hold a scythe? Uh, well, kind of actually, sort of. But anyway, I have so many questions about this dude, about this drawing. Why does his face look like a 10 year old but his mustache is so comically large? Why in a sketchbook that is largely filled with uh, <coughs> uh, romantic fantasies of a teenage boy, why does it suddenly have a weird sketch of an awkward dude holding a scythe? What is going on in this drawing? All of these are perfectly valid questions that I would like to attempt to answer. First, it's pretty clear that I'm trying to draw in sort of an anime style. I remember when I was in high school, I was obsessed with anime and manga but I didn't have any real way to watch anime or to get a hold of manga, not easily anyways, because we didn't really have cable TV. We had what we called Peasant Vision, that was three channels, uh, but, and there also wasn't any like YouTube or Netflix when I was a kid. Um, if you did happen to have cable TV, you might get episodes of Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z or maybe Gundam if you're lucky. And actually some of my friends did have cable and when I was at their houses, I would try to watch those shows any chance I'd get. But, uh, and, you know, to be fair too, we would buy phone book style compilations of manga series once or twice a year when we'd go to a chapter's bookstore, which was a couple hours away. Uh, we would try to buy everything that we could and we would trade it, me and my couple of art nerdy friends. But the point is this, we didn't really have a whole lot of reference with which to taper our interest in the style, me and my buddies who were into drawing. Now in my house, we did have things like Napster and LimeWire and BearShare and these other early peer-to-peer -peer downloading services, but we also had like 56k internet and it took forever to download anything. So, you know, I did download the odd episode of a show illegally, uh, but not really enough to get saturated in the style that I was trying to learn how to draw in. And this was also kind of before the days of every single how to draw book being how to draw anime, how to draw manga, manga, however you say that word. Anyway, second thing that I asked myself about this uh, is why on earth is this farmer holding a scythe? I think that's kind of actually an obvious answer to me. First, I drew a farmer in a field because, well, I lived in semi-rural Saskatchewan and there was a lot of fields and there was a lot of farmers. And also, I'm pretty sure the dude is holding a scythe because in the show Gundam Wing, which is one of the animes that was occasionally on YTV when I was growing up, that I did get a chance to see at my friend's house or my grandparents' house or whatever, one of the robots has a scythe. And I believe, actually, the robot's name was called Death Scythe. And it kind of uh, looked like this. But anyway, another scythe-related note is that uh, I once went into my grandparents' garage and lo and behold, there hanging on the wall was this massive, gnarly, rusty scythe. It looked really cool, 
and I actually think I used it once or twice, but anyway, it, it doesn't even look like any of the ones that I drew today. But anyway, I digress. The point is this. It's holding a scythe because uh, farms, Saskatchewan, why not? The, the third big question I should probably try to answer is why would I draw this weird drawing? Why would I draw this weird drawing to begin with? And honestly, I think it's 100% because I was way too embarrassed to show people any of the other drawings I made in the sketchbook. As I said, many of these drawings were of a <laughs> romantic nature. So once in a while, I would just draw something so incredibly boring, just so that I could show my friends that I was drawing things. If I make any more of these Rob v Rob videos, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be getting a look at every single boring and weird drawing ever made. After all, I want to keep making videos, and I want to keep making all ages videos that I can show to my kids, and you know, I don't know if I want to put some of those other drawings in there, but anyway. Okay, so some general observations about old Rob's drawing. First, uh, pencil smudges. Here's the thing. If you draw in a sketchbook, you really shouldn't be drawing on both sides of your sketchbook. Uh, when I was a kid, we were frugal, and we were always told to draw on both sides of the paper, and so we did. Uh, and I kind of brought that into my high school drawings too. But the thing is, pencil smudges very easily in a sketchbook. And so it looks so hard to see with this drawing, like the details of this drawing, because over the time and over the years, the pencil has smudged from one side of the paper to the other. And, you know, the two pieces of paper that touch each other, they rub off on each other and it just kind of makes everything look like a smudgy mess. But anyway, uh, so past Rob, you shouldn't have drawn on both sides of the paper. Second, um, I do like how Pastor Rob put some of the heads of grain closer and some in the background to try to give a sense of depth. Well done, Pastor Rob. I think this is another thing that I snagged from my anime watching because often they would use this parallax effect in anime to sort of give uh, a feel of depth. I think that's what I was trying to emulate in my drawing. And third, well done old Rob on trying to draw hands, specifically fingers because my sketchbooks are filled with hands that actually aren't hands and fingers that aren't fingers, just sort of a sketchy oval where I really didn't try at all. And in this one I did, I tried to draw the fingers and so well done. Now, regarding today's redraw. I didn't go anime style, I went to generic modern Rob style because one more time these days, I draw a lot digitally and I'm just trying to get my brain and my hands and muscle memory back in the habit of drawing with pen and paper. Uh, that means thinking through the order for one thing, uh, you know, first pencils, then inks and colors. Uh, what it really means is when it comes to the layout and the design and envisioning how I want it to, to turn out, I have to do that before I actually do it. I have to visualize how I want it to look before I sit down and try to make it happen. Uh, with a sketch with pen and paper, you really need to get that in the right order. Digitally, which is how I'm used to drawing for the last 15 years, you can kind of make changes as you go and you can actually do entire layouts and just move things around. And I really love that about digital art, but I am trying to get back into the habit of old school. So <laughs> anyways, I didn't want to push myself to try to do anime today or manga today. I'm really bad at that anyway. So I just did me style, but anyway, yeah. Second thing is, I wanted to color it. I always wanted to color it, but often I would run out of time. And because, you know, these sketch pencil drawings, they take all day and I'd lose my patience. And so, you know, later on, as I got better and faster, I, some of my sketches will have color. Sometimes it's pencil crayons, sometimes it's watercolor, sometimes it's acrylic. But anyway, I, I always wanted to color it. I just didn't have the patience to color it. But these days, um, even though digital art is my forte and uh, real media is not, I'm still quite a bit faster at sketching, so uh, I'm probably going to color a lot of these. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. That was a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like and a subscribe. Share the video with your friends. Leave comments on what you think I should do. And yeah, thanks. See you next time.